हेलो गाइस टुडे वी हैव द टॉपिक एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर इट इज आल्सो नोन एज एक्सेस मॉडिफायर इन पाइथन प्रोग्रामिंग सो इफ यू आर जावा प्रोग्रामर और सी प्लस प्लस प्रोग्रामर यू विल गेट सम कंफ्यूजन वाइल यूजिंग एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर इन पाइथन बिकॉज द सिंटेक्स इज क्वाइट डिफरेंट एंड इफ यू आर फर्स्ट टाइम लर्निंग द एक्सेस स्पेसिफायर देन यू हैव टू गो थ्रू दिस टूटोरियल वेरी carefully so that you can understand this topic so there are three types of modifier that is a uh, public private and protected so we will see all these modifier that is public private and protected so we start with the public so you can read from this slide also the member of the class that are declared with the public are easily accessible from any part of the program so how we declare it so it is declared like this so you see this is the class and this is the constructor inside this we are using a, a cell for accessing the value cell dot name equal to name so we have the two variable and we are accessing the value by using cell so what happen by default these are the public why public because by default the access specifier is public so if you are not uh, using anything it will be public by default and here i tell you just like in uh, c++ and java we use the name public private protected so in the python we don't use such kind of name because the python uh, it refer very easy syntaxes and it make the writing code very easy so that the reason we are not manually specifying it in place of that in the python we use the underscore concept for representing private and protected but here you see this name carefully these two name self dot name self dot sal we are not using underscore so it means that it is a public access specifier and the meaning of public means once you declare it as a public or if you have the public variable by default you can use it anywhere in the program how you can use it that we will see in the practical session but before that we will see the next access specifier protected so protected it's a member in the case of protected class its member and function can only be accessed by the class derived from is that is child or that is uh, its child class or classes means uh, what happen if you are using the protected access specifier then you can use that content simply in the derived class whatever the derived classes are there 1 2 3 there you can use the protected data so you see here we are using now single underscore so it means that these variables are protected and you can use it in its derived class next one is private so private means it has the limitation the variable and function can only be access only within a class so we can specify like the like um, here you can observe we have used uh, double underscore so it means that these are the private access specifier and you can use it only within a class by using object we cannot access this value so now we will go in the practical session and there we will use all the kinds of access space so now here i am in the blank screen of the python and uh, straight away i am taking one class giving the simple name a and in that class i am going to have one constructor so i am writing here def two time underscore you have to use and i am going to have here constructor and inside the constructor taking some parameter first one we use always self and second one i am taking age and then i am taking name so these are the parameters and uh, then we have to use here colon and then i am writing self dot age equals to age by using this we can access the values this is the proper way and then self dot name equals to name so we are accessing these two values and uh, then we have the two values age and name i am taking one more value because we are going to use at a time three access specifier so name age and uh, you can say id got it so here also i should write then self so self dot id equal to 
ID. So you see these are public by default. But now I want to make it second one protected and the third one private. Got it? So in this way I can do it. And finally then I have to create the object for accessing this data. So A equal to A. And as we have the constructor, we have to pass one by one three values. So age is 10. Then the second value is name. So the name is Suraj. I'm taking my name here. Third is ID. So ID value is one. So by using this statement, what happened? These three variable will get initialized. Then I'm going to take print. So in that print statement, I'm taking this object A. And here I'm writing a dot age. And uh, now here we will try to execute this. So you see our code is running properly. We don't have any problem. So I just copy this. So here I pasted it. And now here for accessing this uh, second one, I have to write that second variable with the access specifier identification. So it's a protected, so I have to use single underscore and then name. So here be careful if you are Java or C++ programmer because whenever we access the value, we don't specify that access specifier, but in the Python you have to specify and you see, it is working so what i told you public means you don't have any confusion you can use anywhere but protected you can use inside the class and the derived class so that the reason this is the object of this class a so you can execute this and suppose i am taking a third variable here that is id then it will show the error message because that data it is having limitation. We can use only inside it, inside the class. We cannot access outside the class. So by using object, we are trying to execute outside the class. So it will show the error message in the third one. Got it? So we cannot use this statement here. So we can use only two statement a dot age and a dot name. Got it? So this is what the public and protected means in the case of public and protected we can run it by using the object but in the private yes you can use only inside the class so by using object also we cannot do it even though this particular object belonging to the same class so this is the main thing about the private now we will see detail about the protected so this is only the one class so suppose I am taking one more class, class B and it is deriving from A. So here B is derived class and A is a base class. And then what I am doing here, I will just write pass here because I don't want to specify any code. And then after this, I will just copy this code for saving my time and then here I am taking different object B and here the class will be B. So now we have the object of the derived class. So as we are using constructor we have to use this three parameter for initialization but the value can be different. So here I am writing age 11 and name i will change id will be 2 so i am passing different value because by using derived object we can access the data from base class object so we can pass the value to constructor by using derived object and then we have the print statement here so we will use b b dot h and b underscore name so you see about this three statement, you don't have any doubt, B is the object. So by using B, now we will see whether we can execute public and protected or not. So we will definitely execute, you see here, 
it is showing the result from both the object because public means you don't have confusion you can access anywhere whether it is derived class public class whether it is derived class or other classes you can use that public data anywhere outside the class and about the protected we can use in base and derived so here b is a derived class so that the reason by using this object we can execute the protected data now this uh, protected data we will use in another way suppose i am removing this pass from the here then what happen about this class b i am going to use that base data here so here in the base class we have the data like age name and id so that name is a protected data so we can definitely use in the derived class so what is class we are going to declare one method that is dis method as usual you have to write self and in this method we are going to use the protected data so what is the protected data here this one is the protected data so what i am going to write print self dot you can write age because it's a public data and uh, then we have to just copy this code we'll paste it here and here you can write the second one that is name but the third one we cannot use it because it's a uh, this is what the private one and then here in the print statement after this print i can write here the b object is b class b object is b dot dis method now we will see how the dis method is working out here so i just explain this code again for you this is the first object so because of that we are initializing the value then a dot age and a dot name we are printing public and protected data because we cannot uh, access the private data then again we are initializing a value different value we are initializing and here also we are printing only the first two value because they are public and protected then by using dis method we are executing the value again we are accessing only public and protected but private we cannot use it that private data we can use only inside it got it so now we will see uh, how we can use that private one suppose here in the class uh, sorry how we can use that private one so here in this class suppose if i take one method def and then we will take here output statement and inside it we will take private data self dot underscore id this is the private data and through this object we already pass it so here i will write object a dot dis1 so right now we will execute this and this value one we already pass to the id so we will check how the output comes it is quite interesting so you see the output is coming one because the private data was one so in this way we can execute this and uh, we will also check whether we can execute by this object or not because b is a derived object dot dis1 so here it is taking the value 2 because why it is taking value 2 because this is the derived object and by using that it is passing value to constructor so id get initialize and then we are executing here the data of dis1 function and through this we are running this private data but you see carefully here this private data has the limited scope we have to use this use this by using encapsulation means this private data can be used only within a class and if you want to execute it you have to use that data within class by taking the help of function so that by using object you can execute this so in this way you can run the private data so in this tutorial i capture everything how you can go for public 
private and protected along with that how you can run the private content also so i hope dear student you understood this tutorial thanks for watching thank you